This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. So, Donnie Boy is at it again. I don't know if you can see these on the screen here with the NFTs. Donald Trump's NFT part duh announcement. They were such a wild success. People were clamoring for the last set of NFTs. They've released new ones. First, I'm going to play a very brief video of him announcing it. It's strange to me. This is what, I mean, there's no, this is all embarrassing. I don't understand someone who's actually running for president and then is releasing trading cards of him holding Obviously, his hands manipulated. They look like giant man hands, and he's, you know, but but a childlike hands that he has. Uh, this is all very embarrassing for the entire country that we elected this person to be president of the United States. But moreover, there's a market for this among the worshipers of Donald Trump. So I'm going to play this video of him announcing it. And also keep in mind that he's been on the on the, the world stage as a spokesperson, as a marketer, as a human being who can ostensibly read and write and speak the language. And this is the best they could come up with as a voiceover for this particular commercial. It's just atrocious. But uh, we're going to talk about this partic these particular screens that I have here, these NFTs or whatever. And, um, and then I'm going to remind you what I said about four months ago about the actual NFTs that are free. You don't need to pay for. They live on. That we'll always be able to enjoy from the many moments of Donald Trump's uh, existence as president. Watch his uh, little commercial that he put up on, uh, on True Social. Hello again. This is your favorite president, Donald Trump, with some news you are going to really love. A few months ago, we almost broke the internet when I announced my Trump digital trading cards. These beautiful Trump cards made headlines all over the world because of the speed at which they sold. Original cards sold out so fast, everybody is asking me to do another series. Well, I've got some fantastic news for you. My Trump digital trading cards are back with a bang. Series 2, the new collection, features incredible artwork of me as a rock star and also as a monster trucker. People love to collect baseball cards, but why settle for that when you can collect the greatest trading card in history? My Trump digital trading cards. We didn't raise the price despite the incredible fast sellout last time. It's so easy to buy. You just need an email address and your credit card or crypto. If you want to own a piece of history, go to collecttrumpcards.com. You know one comment I never get when I call Trump a grifter or charlatan or liar? Mainly the grifter thing is no one ever pushes back on that. No one ever says, wait, 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 what? Donald Trump is no grifter. How dare you, sir? <laughs> it's because it's so obvious. He obviously is a dignity-free grifter. Him holding the Liberty Bell. Him is, is, is the, the king of hearts. Do, do, doing the little heart thing. This, I, I don't know, it kind of smacks as, as sacrilegious with the three T's, like the Trinity, and he's holding the, you know, he's got the whole world in his hand. It's, it's all very suspect. Him masquerading, this is cosplay as him as Washington crossing the Delaware. Him grilling up burgers and dogs. And this, some of this Photoshop work is just amateurish, to say the least. I mean, this, look at the cut of his pants here. He has enough money, he could actually have his clothing tailored to look this sharp. But instead, he, he wears clothes that looks like uh, out of a circus tent. I mean, that apron kind of looks like it's a, a bug tent when, for, to spray for termites or whatever. And then they're so lazy. These two here, put them on screen. These two are the same image, just one's him on stage as a rock star, as he said it. And the other is him as a rock star on a motorcycle. Makes a ton of sense. And then, of course, it wouldn't be uh, Donald Trump without, again, terrible Photoshop. I'm assuming he's a bow hunter here with a crossbow. I don't know. But again... 
I want to remind you what I said about four months ago about the NFTs that will live on in our hearts and that are free for all of us to remember the presidency of Donald Trump. So let's, let's reflect back on a video that I did about the very first set of them, and let's fondly remember the NFTs that are free for all of us. There's baseball player Trump. There's big rig Trump. Oh, and then mm, I'm a tough guy. There's uh, catching a baseball Trump. Looks terrified. He looks frightened out of his tree at catching a baseball. Here's Trump in an actual cowboy hat while everyone in the room laughs at him. Here's dancing Trump. Here's a few of Trump trying to drink water and needing two hands to do so. We have, over the course of the four years he was president, many images that will live on in our hearts and in our minds, and we can trade these freely on their internet uh, this holiday season. Here's Trump showing what a, what a working man he is in a, in, a, in a hard hat. Here's a classic, Trump holding up the Bible after having just gassed peaceful protesters a block away from the White House. Here's Donald Trump molesting old glory. Mm, I love the flag. Here's Donald Trump in a classic that has been turned into a meme, shouting who knows what at a boy who wanted to mow the, the White House lawn. I have NFTs for sale, they should put over that. Here's Donald Trump as some kind of a ghoulish spokesman for McDonald's. Here's Donald Trump uh, callously throwing paper towel rolls as emergency response to Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico while Americans were suffering. Here's Donald Trump in a classic pouty pose. Or how about this one where he's staring directly into an eclipse? And here's one of him standing like a human being stands, I guess. And then, of course, who could forget him showing the map with the little Sharpie edition over, over the, the panhandle of Florida and maybe Alabama or Mississippi. There's, there's plenty of us, plenty of these to go around for us to trade and not have to pay $99. Yeah, those are the ones I'll remember. It's not duck hunt Donald Trump. It's not king, queen, king of hearts Donald Trump. It's not Liberty Bell Donald Trump. It's uh, staring straight at the sun during eclipse Donald Trump. Anyway, <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. I'd love to know what you think. 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me as always the old-fashioned way, daily at dollamore.com. Follow me, get at me on social media. Tell me in the comments and also on social media, what NFTs did I miss? Which ones should we be looking for from the from the Trump days? We should we should have somebody Photoshop light or bleach being shoved up the ass of Donald Trump since that was his COVID cure. Who knows? Anyway, uh, at Dollamore, that's where I am on social media. And if you appreciate what I do, if you think I'm doing a good job, good enough to help support my work, produce my work, you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. That doesn't just support the podcast. It absolutely supports my work here, helps keep the lights on in the studio. And there are many uh, you can also give right here on YouTube, click the join button, become a channel member for a buck 99 a month. Uh, every bit goes a long way. I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Not this, genuine. And take care of one another.